sort of impromptu reading vlog. I think it's gonna be 24 hours. Um, it's not gonna be like super reading heavy, but I wanted to document reading Tinder's The Flesh by Augustina Basterica. I'm actually on my way to a river near my house with my family. We're gonna go tubing, so I won't do much reading on the river because it is dangerous to bring a book out there, but I will definitely be reading on my way. And I just wanted to say hi because like now I can actually have some content for an interesting vlog. I'm only 50 pages into this one so far, but I like it a lot. The writing is so sparse. It doesn't really give you more than you need to know. It just gives you like these are the facts and yeah, we eat people and that's it. And it's definitely very character driven and you don't really get a lot of the world outside, but you follow Marcos, which is our main character around for the entire time. Um, I've never actually read the synopsis for this, so I don't fully know what it's about other than the like change in diets and how people are eating people now instead of meat. But I think it might have something to do with this girl he meets who's basically cattle until she's not because he's gifted her. So I'm gonna assume that's some sort of catalyst for some sort of change. But I highly doubt this is a book about changing society. It's more just like character driven stuff. So I don't really know anything, but I'm really enjoying it so far. And I will continue reading and let you know how I feel later. Bye.
we're not gonna make it. We're just gonna hit the, we're just gonna crash. Who wanna hit it? We're just gonna, is there, are there beavers in here? Why are we going right here? They're gonna pop us. Ah, oh, no. Well. So that concludes all the pretty shots of this vlog. I just wanted to come and kind of wrap this up and give a brief review of Tinder is the Flesh because I have some thoughts. I think this is going to be a three star read for me. I enjoyed it a lot. As much as one can enjoy this. <laughs> um, but I had some issues with it. For the most part, I think it was a really well-written story. No. For the most part, I thought this was a good story. It takes a very interesting, disturbing premise, and it gives us a really good character to follow while we go through it. So we have Marcos, who is an employee of a... Basically, it's like a production factory. I'm gonna call it a slaughterhouse because I can't think of the word they use. But this book is filled with euphemisms for like everything that they talk about, like the special meat being humans and nullifying people which is really just killing them so the slaughterhouse he works at he's like more of like and he has more of a office job he's not really a part of the slaughtering um so we get to go around and see him dealing in the different parts of the industry there are like hunting reservations where people need you to bring them head which is what they call the bodies specifically there's a character in here who's like bring me more impregnated females because they're more aggressive and they're vicious and they'll protect their young and whatever and they'll protect the babies inside them so it's like that, where it's very, there's different people in different parts of the industry and he goes around and finds out what they need from him. But anyway, all that to say that his role in the industry is very involved, but he's also someone who does not really approve of the consumption of special meat. He remembers a time when it wasn't the case because the transition happened when he was much younger. And yeah, so he's never really been okay with it, but obviously he is still working in the industry. So we get this person who we can agree with in terms of their beliefs, while also his actions aren't always the best. And he really helps us understand this world in a way that doesn't make me feel like I'm insane, because like, how is anyone okay with this? So yeah, <laughs> that was good. But then we have weird scenes in the book that are just like, totally unnecessary, really graphic things. I won't go into them, and it's not that I have a problem with the graphicness of them, I just don't understand what they were there for. Like there were some things, and I'm not even talking about like eating humans or like slaughtering humans, that stuff's not what I'm talking about, which you would think there would be some disgust with that. Which like, I'm not not disgusted, but I'm also like, I knew what I was signing up for when I chose to read this book. So yeah, um, I'm kind of rambling, I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to get my thoughts together because I just finished it. But basically, um, I think it's well written. I think there's a lot of social commentary in here. I really like the sparse writing and very straightforward and kind of like this is the world and this is what I have to do in this world. But I also felt like it, 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 it took some turns that didn't need to be taken. And just the character himself by the end, I'm just like, what was the point of this story? Because like I mentioned earlier, I, I didn't think it was going to be a story of like, um, those society changing or learning to change. I didn't think we would be trying to revert back to the way things were before the transition to meat, human meat, but I thought that the character of Marcos would develop more and I can't think of how he's developed at all. I understand the journey he went through. I understand that he had desires and those desires were met by the end of the book, but it just didn't fit. It didn't feel right. 
and it's not even that he made the wrong choices, I just mean like it just didn't make sense for what I was reading for it to end the way that it did. And I'm sorry I'm talking about this so vaguely, but I really don't want this to be a spoiler review. I want you to kind of, if you choose to read this, which huge trigger warnings for some things like animal abuse, um, I, I'm blanking on the other things, but yeah, like, you know, they're slaughtering humans in here. Oh, sexual assault, descriptions of rape, those things. So like, yeah, all of that. It's a very graphic book, and I didn't really have a problem reading the graphicness of it, but I do feel like at some points I was like, why am I reading this? So anyway, yeah, three stars just because I feel like it lost direction at some point, and especially towards the end, it's just this very abrupt change that doesn't make any sense. So, yeah, I still liked it. I might even read it again at some point, but I just... I'm disappointed by the ending, and I'm disappointed by the character of Marcos, but overall, like, yeah, this book is f***ed up, and I liked that it was f***ed up, so I guess it did what it needed to do for me. So thanks for watching this vlog, and thanks for hearing my thoughts on this book. That's all I have to say about it. I hope you have a great day, wherever you are in the world, and I don't know. Let me know if you've read this. Let me know if you've read anything similar, because I really am more interested in these kinds of dystopian worlds. Um, but hopefully they have a better execution of that dystopian world. Feel free to connect with me on my Instagram at lalalovesLit, or you can be my friend on Goodreads. And yeah, other than that, like, comment, subscribe. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand.